hello everyone in uh, my previous video we a uh, new what is a uh, spring a uh, boat for jpa now we will uh, see practically practically uh, we will uh, see first of all uh, we will develop a project so this is my sts environment spring tool suit environment so you see how i am creating a project file new spring factor project so project name suppose i will uh, give spring board uh, let rod demo spring board crowd example uh, because uh, my objective is uh, i will perform crowd operation create read update delete so now i will uh, choose maven version is 17 packaging jar language java okay everything is okay group suppose group id group id is com dot example okay so artifacts and project name is what same description so spring board crowd example and my package name is suppose let com dot salon so in this way i filled so then click on next button now this point is important so here we will add some dependencies so definitely first of all i will add spring wave because overall it is a web application some dependencies we will add then dev tool dependencies so already uh, i have given the clarity in my first spring boot application development spring boot dev tool dependencies advantages suppose uh, one boot application i developed then i executed after that some uh, changes if i will do then no need to republish again so automatically it will republish so this is the advantage of dev tool then we are uh, what uh, using spring boot jpa concept so for this there is a dependency spring boot is providing if i will sort jpa you see spring data jpa and so one driver is requiring because the concept is saying so our java application spring boot application communicating with database application so for this one driver is required so that is my sql driver so this dependency also i will add so this part is important so these are the dependencies it is mandatory that we have to add spring wave spring board so dev tools spring beta jpa my sql driver click on next option then click on finish now a project structure is creating okay so now one project created name of the project is spring boat prod example so that uh, project structure is creating it is taking some little bit time okay so you see so we created a project like the project name is spring boat crowd example and we had chosen maven that means one maven live show project that we uh, what uh, created and you see there is a file pom.xml file which is one of the important file in this context so what the pom.xml file is containing whatever the dependencies we are adding so that pom.xml file is containing so if i will open pom.xml file that we can see so this is pom.xml file 
and you see so this is the spring board thrust tractor or data jpa dependency this is board tractor wave dependency the tool dependency my sql connector dependency so whatever the dependencies we are what adding so that is displaying in pum.xml file and you see uh, there is a folder src main java and a base package we have uh, what have created that is com.cylon and there is a folder src main resources folder and in com.cylon there is a file so spring port cron example application dot java file so regarding this already i have given the clarity so in first spring boot application development so first of all in this context we will develop application dot properties file so guys where is application dot properties file so there is a folder src main resources so under this folder application dot properties file that we can get so this is the application dot properties file that we have to develop so application dot properties file is a such file which will contain database related information database configuration so what is the database configuration so database configuration means database username database password database name okay so that we will represent in this file so first of all a database a url okay so first of all one parameter some parameter we will represent so how i will write the spring dot uh, data source spring dot data source dot url so that is what so jdbc colon my sql colon my sql colon so double slash local host colon so double three zero six colon so our database name is emp underscore crowd underscore db so my database name so this is the url jdbc is protocol my sql is sub protocol my sql is database name localhost is the database server name double three zero six is the port number so when you will install my sql software so you can get so port number and this is my database name so this is the url this parameter then username so database username default username is root so same thing spring dot data source dot username so data source dot username default username is root and password so next parameter is password so at the time of my sql installation whatever the password you will give that password you have to represent here so my password is cylon at the rate one two three okay then uh next parameter is driver class name driver class name driver driver class name so driver class name is particularly for my sql database that is a driver but uh, that class i will uh, get by going through a path that is com dot my sql dot okay cj dot cj dot jdbc dot driver okay so this is 
नई डेटा बेस रिलेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन और दिस इज नोन एज डेटा बेस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन सो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन व्हाट आई डिड आई प्रेजेंटेड इन एप्लीकेशन डॉट प्रॉपर्टीज फाइल देन सम हाइबरनेट uh related configuration that we will represent here but nowadays boot is supporting hibernate configuration automatically hibernate is nothing but an orm tool object relational mapping so in my previous video already i have told java object and relational table so what a map is establishing so for this so jpa we have code we have to write that is representing hibernate configuration so spring dot jpa dot uh, properties dot properties dot hibernate dot hibernate dot dielect dot dielect equals to org one dielect uh, what my sql dielect class we have to represent but it is optional if i will specify if i will not specify there is no problem so that is com dot uh, okay org sorry org dot hibernet org dot hibernet dot dielect dot dielect dot one class my sql my sql dielect my sql uh newer version is my sql 8 dielect my sql dielect or my sql 8 dielect okay so guys one thing that uh, i am doing so it will better uh, what uh, this line i am commenting okay so without uh, what uh, this line we can run there is no problem because uh, nowadays what uh, is supporting this hibernate configuration uh, okay so one point i can write the uh, spring dot jpa dot hibernate dot jpa dot uh, hibernate spring dot uh, jpa dot hibernate dot ddl hyphen auto equals to hyphen auto equals to update okay so ddl operation automatically update so this line is representing so ddl data definition language okay so data definition language meant for what how to create a table how to alter a table and how to drop a table so creating a table so in my sql environment inside the database emp crawl db so table will create automatically when boot application we will run so this line is representing that ddl operation automatically it will update so this two line uh, for what hibernate configuration it is representing so one line i commented and this line i displayed so this is all about application dot properties file so application dot properties file overall what uh, we knew application dot properties file is a such file which uh, contains database uh, configuration in detail database configuration in detail then we will uh, go to the next point the first uh, component we have to develop that is entity component so in boot context some components we have to develop whatever the problem statement we have so our problem statement is to perform prod operation so four components minimum we will develop for this context one is entity component one is repository component one is service component and one is controller component so i will go to my base package first of all 
स्टेप नंबर वन आई विल क्रिएट एन एंटिटी कंपोनेंट एंटिटी सो राइट क्लिक ऑन माई बेस पैक इज न्यू एंटिटी इज नथिंग बॉट ए क्लास ओके सो I will uh, create a sub package com dot cylon dot entity. Let my class name is employee. My class name is employee. Click on finish button. Okay, so entity. So one class created and file name is employee dot Java. Okay, so how this class I will I uh, consider as entity component for this. One annotation I will use at the rate entity. Okay, so at the rate entity annotation representing the corresponding class employee is an entity component. So it is a built in annotation. So I have to import so the library. So automatically red color mark is coming when I am I will bring my cursor. You see automatically that import option is coming. You click. So, corresponding library that uh, corresponding package I imported from that package, the annotation at the rate entity is coming. Now, so in employee class, I will take some data members, some properties I will represent. So it is nothing but in MVC context, if I will understand, so it is a model component. Okay, model component in MVC context, if I will see and or it is a nothing but a what Java bin. So a class containing private data members and containing getter and setter methods. So if I will write uh, private int id, private name string name so whatever the data, the data members you can take private let double salary suppose three data member three features three attributes whatever you say so we consider so my class name is employee now Another annotation I will use. Why I will use this annotation? That is at the rate table. At the rate table. So at the rate table annotation, it is representing. So in a database, in my SQL environment, a table will create, and the table name will be employee. Okay. So this is my built-in annotation. I will import the corresponding package. So table name will be employee, but uh, if you, uh, if you, uh, we want, suppose we want to see the table name will be different. So explicitly you can represent also. Suppose I will write name equals to, okay, name equals to within the double quotes employee, okay, info suppose. When table, suppose I want to see the table name will be employee info. So explicitly, you have to write within bracket name equals to employee info. Explicitly, if you will write, then table name will be employee info. Otherwise, if you will not uh, represent explicitly, the table name will be your class name employee. Okay, so one annotation at the rate entity and one annotation at the rate table we used then now the class name is employee containing three data members one is id one is name and one is salary now one attribute i will consider as key key attribute because for employee class, a table is creating. We are discussing. So a table is creating. So once a table is creating, table is creating by taking some columns. These attributes, what uh, we'll consider as columns, ID column, name column, and salary column. And one column 
I want to represent a key attribute because primary key, primary key attribute, primary key, the column which is uniquely identifying a record that is called as primary key. So, because through a key attribute value, we can represent, we can retrieve a record. So, to represent one attribute as key attribute, for this one annotation, I will use at the rate id. At the rate id, suppose id, suppose this attribute I want to represent as key attribute. And second thing is, suppose I want to generate the value, id value, so automatically. So, for this, there is also another annotation generated at the rate generated value. At the rate generated value. Okay, so this is another annotation. So we can use the meaning is what? So id value, id value will generate automatically. Okay, and if within a bracket, I will write strategy, one parameter if I will specify, strategy equals to generation type dot identity, type dot identity, automatically it is coming. Okay, so, so what is the meaning? So currently I told at the rate generated value generating id value automatically. Okay. So this annotation is used with JFE to specify how the primary key of an entity should be automatically generated. Okay. So id value 1, then 2, then 3 sequentially identity. So, so at the rate generated value meaning is this. So, what is the meaning of strategy equals to generation type dot entity? So, this strategy relies on the database to generate the primary key value. It uses auto increment columns in the relational database, particularly in MySQL database. So, each new record gets a unique incremented primary key values. 1, then 2, then 3, 4 in this way. Okay. So, now at the rate id, so I will import at the rate id annotation, at the rate generated value annotation, I will import the corresponding package. Then I will save. Okay. So, when an employee object is persisted, the ID field is quite left null in the application code. The database automatically generates the ID using an auto increment column. Okay, the generated ID is then set back to the employee object by the JPA provider. For example, Hypernet. So overall, you remember. So, at the rate generated value, this annotation generating value automatically. Okay. Which value? ID value. Key attribute value. Okay. So, then, then uh, we will uh, use, we will uh, define getter and setter method. You go to source option in maneuver. You see, generate getters and setters. Select all then click on generate so you see getter and setter getter method getting information setter means setting information it will be a good practice when uh, we are representing or we are developing an entity component so getter and setter and again you go to source menu so represent a zero arg constructor represent parameterized constructors or value constructors and represent a two string method. So, constructor from Supero class. So, this is zero arg constructor. Again, go to source option. 
create generate constructor using fields this is parameterized constructor then go to source option then generate to string method okay so now this is my entity component so one a zero erg constructor we defined this is optional but private data member and getter and setter method is mandatory and this is parameterized constructor if the usage will come to our picture then we will use two string method representing the string representation of the class property okay so guys this is my entity component so entity is employee okay so it is nothing but a class containing three data members three attribute id name and salary then what i have done getter method and setter method i have presented along with it zero arg constructor parameterized constructor and two string method so this is my entity component then in my next video we will see what repository component then we will go to service component then we will go to controller component thank you